so that's my dad back there. Um, he thinks he's going to hike 2,200 miles next year. Kind of scared for him. Don't really think he's going to be able to do it. Hey, I heard that. He didn't. I saw that eye roll too. Please pray for him. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to share with you my gear journey so far with my big three let's go you guessed right tent backpack and sleep system and if you stick around to the end of the video I'll give you a fourth gear pick that is just kind of a luxury item but I think you'll think it's pretty cool okay just realize these are not gear reviews this is just my personal choices for my big three the equipment manufacturers aren't paying me for this these are not paid advertisements or sponsorships they don't even know who I am. So with my big three, I'm trying to concentrate on weight, comfort, and cost. But most importantly, the weight. Woo, it's cold out here. First up on the big three is the tent. I picked the Z-Pax duplex two-person tent made out of Dyneema composite fabric. Comes in at 19.4 ounces. You can get it in a few different colors, including camo. It's got two doors two vestibules and you can pitch it with two trekking poles not included also the tent stakes are not included it's got a good reputation as a good waterproof tent and it sets up in minutes now i think this tent is going to serve me well on the through hike one question i do have for anybody that's used this tent is do i need a ground sheet with this z pack says i don't i'm thinking maybe i should carry a ground sheet for use under the tent as well as in the shelter when I just need something beneath my sleeping pad. Leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. All right, so something you're gonna need to erect this tent are stakes. I've got eight of the V-shaped titanium stakes also from Z-Packs on their site. I'm sure you can get them elsewhere. Okay, number two on the big three is my backpack. You're, you're gonna think I'm a walk-in advertisement for Z-Packs, but I'm not. But I picked out the Z-Packs Arc Hall Zip. It's 64 liters. It's about a 26 ounce pack, nice and lightweight. That grid stop pattern in the Dyneema fabric. Now this is uh, pictured here. I've got some extras that are not included. You have to pay extra for these top side mesh pockets. You can see those. I'm not sure if I'll need them yet. Also, the hip belt pockets. I've got two of those on here with the uh, nice waterproof zipper and the, and the waterproof lining in there. Also, there's an extra lumbar support. Pay extra for that as well. There are also extra strap padding on both shoulders. That's also extra, it's not too much. Um, the feature about this Arcal Zip is, compared to the other Z-Packs uh, backpacks, is there's no mesh pocket on the back. This is ends up being a zippered pocket. You still have the storage capacity, but it's, it's enclosed and it's still in the main compartment, still zips up and it still has that roll top. So you can access the top of the bag by unrolling it if you want, or you can access it and completely open the main compartment up with the zippered system all the way down and it, it comes completely open. You can lay this flat and access everything if you want or you know, you can go the other route and just access from that roll top. Okay, literally my hands are freezing, so I'm gonna speed this up with that last item. Okay, number three on the big three is my sleep system, and that's got several components. The most important of which is picking out a sleeping bag or a quilt. I chose a quilt from Catabatic Gear. And I'll pull it out for you. This is the Flex 30. 
I got a couple of extra ounces of fill. So it goes from like a 30 degree rating to like 25 or 26 degree rating. So it's got a, um, a zippered footbed. You can cinch it down at the end for warmth. This has got the 900 fill hyper dry down, goose down. Also, it's, uh, it's about a 23 ounce weight. Okay, another component of that sleep system is the bag liner for extra warmth. This is the Sea to Summit Cool Max adopter. It comes in at around 11 and a half ounces. Also, next component of that sleep system, I gotta have a sleep pad. And I already had the Sea to Summit Ultralight insulated. Comes in at a whopping 19 ounces. I can do better than this, but this is what I got for now. Okay, last part of that sleep system and what some might consider a luxury item is an inflatable pillow. I got the Sea to Summit Eros Ultralight large size. It comes in at two and a half ounces, but I gotta have this. So, even though it's two and a half ounces, it's still a hit. Some people just roll up their clothes and put their head on that, but I'm gonna start out with this anyway. And you're not going to make me blow this one up too, are you? Total weight of my big three, 4.3 pounds. Add in the inflatable pad, the pillow, the bag liner, and I'm up to about six and a half pounds. Okay, if you stuck around this long in this video, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. My bonus fourth item today is this, this item. It's a phone case for my iPhone, which I'll be taking on the trail. This uh, I found at a website, I'll leave the link below. It's a great little item. The website also has some other AT branded items and I'm just trying it out, but it's, it's kind of cool. It's a daily reminder of my future adventure. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw in this video, leave a comment below. If you have any feedback on my gear picks, also leave a comment and consider liking and subscribing. See you in the next one.